Hi everyone. So today we'll be solving this question number one of UC 2020 question paper. Mm. This question says four identical pieces of wood of length 50 cm into 8 cm into 2 cm are arranged as shown in the figure. Another larger square is generated by rotating all the wooden panels along the outer edges and extending the outermost edge till they touch each other. What is the area of this larger square thus constructed? So did you all find this question difficult? Uh, I will not say difficult, little bit indirect. That uh, here all the even the hint is given in the question paper itself. You see, it's written that it is rotated outward. What does it mean? That if it is rotated outward, that means it will fall this side, and this will fall out this side. So, and we extend the edges. This edge will get a square, and that square will consist of this length plus this height and plus thick this thickness. All will be there in this bigger square. and we have to find out the area of that square so let's do it so here i have tried to show by this uh, constructing this diagram let me just show you see this this part this is for 50 cm this thickness is 2 cm and this height is 8 cm now as they is given in the question paper it is rotated outward can you see this gap This is because it has been rotated outward. This gap is of two centimeter. The thickness here also this gap is there. Here again there will be gap, and here again it there will be gap because of this thickness. Now, if we have to construct the square by this taking this edge and extended it like this, can you see the square? And that length of that square will consist of this fifty plus this two plus this eight, this two, this eight. That is seventy centimeter. So the length and breadth that is because it is a square to be 70 centimeter again 70 centimeter. So the the ultimate question here is to find out the area of this square. So this area of this square will be 70 into 70 that is 4900 square centimeter. So answer to the first question of UC 2021 question paper will be 4900. Hi. So. Let's solve question number two of UC 2021 paper. This question is: A cricket team has ten blue pairs of gloves and ten white pairs of gloves in a cricket kit. If a batter reaches into the kit and pulls out one glove at a time without looking at it, what is the least number of gloves she must pull out to make sure she has a pair of gloves of the same color? So, what did you find this question difficult? how will you proceed in this question this type of question see this question has that person that lead that cricketer is pulling out gloves without looking at it so that means it is a chance whether she gets a pair or not that is a chance so in this type of question we have to eliminate all the worst possible cases so that after eliminating the worst possible cases what is whatever the numbers are left in that is a guaranteed that she will get a pair are you getting it Let's proceed. Let's move to next slide to show you how it is done. So, how many gloves are there? There are ten blue pairs of gloves and ten white pairs of gloves. So, total twenty pair of gloves. And for each pair, that means there are two left hand and right hand. So, there are ten blue left hand gloves, ten blue right hand gloves, blue gloves, and ten right white uh, left hand gloves, and ten. white right hand gloves so total we have 40 gloves out of that she has to choose a pair so how will we do this so here what is happening she is pulling out gloves without looking if she get a, she may get a pair in two times only suppose she gets a, in first chance she is getting white left hand and the next chance again she is getting white right hand so in the first or two chance she may get but that is a lucky chance that cannot be surety that cannot be said that definitely she will get two times so that the, if that for if we say 2 or 4 that is just by lucky chance so we have to say we have to think of way that after the, that whatever she pulls out it will be a 100% surety that she will get a pair so what for that what we have to do we have to to make sure that she has a pair of gloves of the same color we need to exhaust all the wrong chances all the wrong chances and we have to assume the worst possible cases so we have to assume all the worst possible cases that can happen after that whatever remains that will be the correct answer that means that that after that she will definitely get a correct pair so what are the all wrong chances 
what are the wrong chances when she suppose what you tell me what will be the wrong chance yeah she will the wrong chance will be if she pulling the uh, gloves of only one hand right suppose she for the first chance she got a blue color left hand and all she is getting all the blue left hand only so right or is she is getting all the right hand of uh, all the one hand of only of white color so if she gets one hand of blue color only and that is that that is how many 10 because there are 10 pairs so there are one hand of blue will be 10 times and she gets only of white color again only of uh, one hand so these are the worst possible cases right suppose in between she gets a one blue or one white another of another hand she will get a pair but the maximum worst lucky chance worst thing unlucky thing could be that she's keep getting she keeps getting only of one hand so she is getting only a blue color of one hand and only a white color of one hand she there is no pair here so these are the maximum worst chances is that she gets 10 of one hand of blue and 10 of blue uh, white one hand only so these are the that means for 20 times maximum maximum she can go wrong isn't it she can go get before that also but these are the maximum wrong chances after 20 times that means 20 so she may not get pair for 20 times but after 20 times that is on the 21st chance that is the worst possible chance chance that she will definitely get a pair so if she, whether she chooses to blue glove or she chooses white glove so after that means the least number of gloves she must pull out to make sure that she has a pair of gloves of same color will be 21 thank you hi hi everyone so let's do this question number 3 of uc 2021 question paper This question says Chino was excited about the new year when she bought a new calendar to keep on her study table. While playing, her baby sister poked a hole through the entire calendar from January to through December as seen in the image. If every page has the same 5 week table structure for each month and if all the consecutive months were printed back to back, which date in the month of April has a hole in it? So what do you say? Is this difficult? Uh let's solve it step by step and I am sure you'll not find it very difficult. only thing to remember in this question is that week has 7 days yes i know you all of you already know this but that is the only point what does it mean that suppose today is tuesday so after 7 days it will again be a tuesday and 8th day will be a wednesday 7 plus 1 and 9th day will be a thursday 7 plus 2 so a week repeats after every 7 days and I'll, uh, and that, that only that thing we have to remember here now so let's start all the consecutive months were printed back to back it's written here so it what does it mean that hole will be either on thursday or on tuesday what does it mean that january and the back of is on uh, is uh, february then march then on back of it is in uh, april so all are uh, printed back to back so can you see here the hole is on thursday and here the hole is on tuesday so our holes will be on either thursday and tuesday right it's given in the question now january is a first month and this summer is the 12th month so every for odd number of months holes will be on third thursday 1 2 3 third thursday isn't it february it the calendar it will be like this back of it that is even number that is second month it will be on third of tuesday so january it in it will be on third of uh, third of tu- thursday february it will be third of tuesday again march third of thursday again april it will third of tuesday isn't it so the question here becomes april being four month hole will be on third tuesday so the question actually is the which is asked in the question in the paper is what date is on the third tuesday of april ultimately question is as simplified as this that what is the date on third tuesday of april if the first is on first uh, january is on monday isn't it so question becomes easy here let's now let's do it we know it is a leap year calendar it is given it is shown now number of days in january is 31 right we all know that because it is a leap year the number of days in february will be 29 number of days in march will be 31 so number of days till 30, uh, 1st of april will be 31 plus 29 plus 31 that is 91 right now number of days till 1st of april is 91 we counted that and now 91 is a multiple of 7 what does it mean 91 is equal to 7 into 12 so if 1st january is on monday as given in the calendar 1st of april will be also on monday 
so now we know that first april is on monday but what we have to find out what is the date on third of tuesday so now we know that first april is on monday so second april is on tuesday right third tuesday will be two weeks after what does it mean two weeks two weeks is 14 so third tuesday will be 2 plus 2 weeks that is 14 2 plus 14 that is 16th april so third tuesday will be on 16th april and that is the question uh, we uh, if you remember that is the question we have to answer so when is the third tuesday so third tuesday is on 16th april tuesday will be on 16th april so that means whole on the calendar will be on 16th of april so that's right that is the answer whole on the calendar will be on 16th of april i hope you all understood hi so let's do question number 4 of 2021 use it paper this question says how many triangles are there in the figure shown so let's start counting so let's count so as you can see i have shown five triangles here 1 2 3 4 5 but how will you count those five how will you make it easy as you can see the vertex here these are the two side, uh, point three point this vertex lies in the pentagon so obviously that means if they, you could find one triangle there has to be there should be because it is a irregular polygon you have, there has to be five similar triangles right can you see this vertex and this is a pentagon kind of so for every vertex there will be a triangle so five triangle of this kind plus again this is of how many let's count first one that is a five till fifth we have counted so 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 12, 15. total 10 triangles are here again for every if you can see for every this side there are two triangles for this side likewise they have uh, total five like this so it will be 10 triangles here 10 triangles here five earlier so 15 triangles here again these two sides and taking this as uh, this is a third third type of triangle there again five in number so it with uh, 16 17 18 19 20 so till uh, here we counted 20 triangles now this is the basic this triangle which is made by the base of this figure so we have how many sides are there 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be five such triangles so 21 22 23 24 and 25 so till now we have 25 triangles now these smaller triangles green triangles can you see this based on for every side there are five this kind so five this and the inside one so it will be how much 26 27 28 29 30 and plus 5 that is 31 32 33 34 35 so total 35 triangles so answer to this question will be the number of triangles in this figure is 35 thank you given paper this question says the corner of the green and red triangles coincide with the center of the circle what does it mean this green circle this is coincide this corner this is the center of this circle and this this is the center of the corners are the center of the circles and all the circles have equal diameters that means all circle are same and adjacent circles touch each other they are touching each other they are not overlapping but just touching if the area of the green triangle is 3.14 what is the area of the red triangle the area of this triangle is given and you have to find out this red triangle so uh, one thing you should always remember in these type of area question or any area questions if they asked about area that means there has to be some relation between these two areas and that relation we have to find out uh, because if they have asked if given this area and they have asked about this area that means how will we find out unless there is some relation that's a logic clear logic right so we have to just find out ki what is the relation between these triangle this triangle and this triangle and once we go in that direction we'll find the answer so let's see so here, here it is see these are the centers all the three uh, circle centers are joined and then we get a equilateral triangle right but here what is happening even though this is center this is center this is not joined here and then it is joined to the this the side is from uh, there is a circle left and the third uh, then here it is joined to this point so let's first try to make a uh, triangle like this and then uh, let's judge whether it's related or not so if we 
see this is we I, we draw one this line and then again so this is the triangle given here right we may make a triangle like this again like this is again this is the same triangle we keep on making like this so that just to find out if there is relation or not so now we can see if we make this then we get a parallelogram shape right this is a parallelogram and and we this is a made up of how many triangles 1 2 3 4 and all these triangles are like this now we definitely getting a some relation that this with the shape which is asked the area of which of is asked is half of this parallelogram isn't it and this whole parallelogram is of four such equilateral triangle whose area is given so now we get the answer we get a uh, we get an uh, idea of how we will do this so here four area of this parallelogram will be area of four such green triangles right that an area of one four triangle uh, triangle is 4 into 3.14 and area of red triangle will be half of area of parallelogram so that means if we half into 4 into 3.14 6.28 so 6.28 will be the area of uh this red rectangle uh, so answer for this will be 6.28 area of red triangle will be 6.28 unit square thank you hi so uh, did you all see this question number did you all try to solve this question number 6 of last year paper 2021 paper or uh, to be very frank uh, this is one of the question which i found tricky trick in the sense it will not take much to solve the time will not be much if you know the trick if you know the way as it happens so you see the indirect questions so question is not that difficult once you know the way but to get to that point to know but to know the way takes time so that's why practice is necessary that's why solving previous papers are necessary so let's start first let's jot down all the information which is given here it is given here there are certain number of houses and uh, some residents are positive for covid in the first house but the virus can spread in two ways it can spread to the next house or it can directly jump to the third house so in this way the house number 2 can get infection in only one way and house number 3 in two ways how from 1 to 2 2 to 3 and directly from 1 so these are the two ways which house number 3 will get infected house number 4 will get infected in three ways see this is directly from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and then 1 to 2 and from uh, triple jump to 2 to 4 that is second way then 1 to 2 1 to 3 and 3 to 4 that will third way now house number 5 in five number of ways these are the five number of ways which i have shown here i hope you are it's clear to everyone mm. now i think i now you can see so these are the ways if you mark it that uh, any house at any particular time it is coming either from the just house just before or in between if there is one house so house number of n will get from either from n minus house or n minus 2 house there is only two ways so let number of ways house number n is infected to be determined let it be denoted as hn so hn is equal to number of ways for house number n minus 1 plus number of houses for house number n minus 2 so h n e will be equal to h n minus 1 plus h n minus 2 now if you all remember this is also the fibonacci series if you all know what is fibonacci series this is same so if h2 is equal to 1 h3 will be 2 it's given also in your calculator so h4 will be h1 plus h2 is equal to h3 and h5 will be 3 plus 2 5 similarly h6 will be 5 plus 3 8 h7 will be 8 plus 5 that is 13 H eight will be thirteen plus eight twenty one. H nine will be twenty one plus thirteen thirty four. H ten will be thirty four plus twenty one fifty five. H eleven is equal to fifty five plus thirty four eighty nine. And H twelve will be eighty nine plus fifty five one forty four. H thirteen is equal to one forty four plus eighty nine. That is two twenty three. So this is the answer, which is this is the question which was asked. He, how many ways house number thirteen can get infected? that it can get infected in 233 ways so i hope it is clear for everyone of you hi everyone so let's do this question number 7 of 2021 paper in this question there were uh, there was a container with water was given and whose dimension was also given and there were four objects were dipped in it and the uh, it was asked when all the four objects were taken out 
what will be the new volume of water so first let uh, let's jot down all the information given in this question see this is based on archimedes principle if you all remember do you all remember it is based on this fact that if any object is submerged in a fluid it will display some volume and the volume is of that some uh, displaced liquid is equal to the volume of that object which is in the in that fluid so here the p is the q of h p is uh, 4 cm with 1 by 10th floating above water 1 by 10th above water means 9 by 10th is in, in the water so volume it will displace will be 9 by 10 into 4 into 4 that will be 57.6 cubic centimeter now for this q object it is directly it's given in the question paper that it displaces 50 uh, cubic centimeter you don't have to calculate for r also it is given the volume is given so that means automatically it means it will display the same amount of same volume of water 295.4 cc for us s again the volume is given 397 points, uh, 397 cc so it means if you take out object it will that if it that volume which has that level will increase and that volume which is increased will equal to the volume which it has displaced so if you take out p it will dis the volume displaced by p was 57.6 that table will go down again if we take out q 50, uh, 50 it, it has taken 50 cc so again that level will go down again r has taken 295.4 cc that level will again go down because we have taken at uh, taken out that object again s the volume s is 397 cc again that volume will go down so total volume which will decrease will be equal to 57.6 plus 50 plus 295.4 plus 397 that is equal to 800 cc now that means total volume which is decreased in 800 cc now you have to find out the new level how will we find out the new level this is in this object volume decrease is given and dimension of container is also given 40 into 20 into 20 so if the area of the base will be 40 into 20 that is 800 centimeter square so if decrease in level how we can easily now calculate volume upon area that is 800 by 800 that is 1 centimeter so the new level will be 10 minus 1 9 centimeter now here you have to remember the question asked is what is the new level so answer will be 9 centimeter even if you suppose you got 1 centimeter you wrote 1 centimeter it is NAT that is numerical answer type that so you thought maybe 1 is the correct answer here but that will not be the correct answer because you have to deduct from 10 so the final answer will be 9 centimeter. So this is the answer for this question. Thank you. I hope you all understood. Hi. So this is question number 8. This question says if you start from the circle and end at the triangle, what is the minimum number of straight lines required to pass through all the dots without tracing any root? You are allowed to pass through a dot more than once. So you have to start from here and you have to end here. You have to cross all the dots. And you don't have to retrace any root. That means you cannot draw any line twice. But yes, you can cross any dot more than once. So these are the questions where we have to think a little out of box. If the dots are given, we automatically assume that if we are going, suppose we have started here, that we end here only because this is the last dot in this line. But that is not so. In this type of question, in this, because we the minimum number of lines are required, so we have to go think little different. Let me show you how. So we will start from the circle. So this is the first line. Then this is the second line. This is the third line. And here, here you can see I have gone beyond this point. I have not returned from this point only. This is there is no point here. But why? Because I have to I have to cut go through these dots. So for that I have gone beyond this dot. And that is the thinking which you have to do here. So this is 4. Again I have gone beyond the dots. I have not stopped here because I have to cut all these lines. I have to join all these dots. So this is 4. This is 5. And then 6 with number 6, uh, 6 line we come to the triangle. And we cross all the dots. So that is that uh, answer. So here is this is the answer. Minimum number of straight lines required is 6. That is the answer.
Hello, so today we will be solving this question 10 of UC 2021 paper. This question says, the figure shows views of the same solid, count the nervous surfaces. Even though questions look simple because just we have to count the surfaces, the answer for many students did not come correct. The reason being, there are many curved surfaces. In this type of question, only thing to remember is when the surface is curved, there is, that is counted as a single surface because it is a continuous. There is no pathway, there is no turn. So all these many surfaces are continuous. So all those surfaces will be counted as one. That's the point you have to remember in all the question which uh, you will be coming to look, uh, you will be finding that if the surface is like there is a curve that will be counted as a single surface. For example, as you see in a cylinder or in a say in a sphere, sphere has one single surface, isn't it? Because there is no, that's a curved surface. So all the curved surface will have a continuous surface which is counted as one. Like here, I will show you in the example of model also, but like before that, I will try to show here also. See, can you see this is a single surface? Even here, because this is line, but again here, this is a curve. So it is all these are single surface. So let me show you. This is the model I have tried to create to explain you all in better way. These are the four views which were given in the question paper. Now we'll count the number of surfaces. This is the first surface. Can you see? First, first again because of this curve, this will also be first and this is curve. So the bottom side will also be first. 2, 2, 2 because of this curve and this curve. 3, 3, 3. Again this also will be 3 because of this curve. 4, 5, 6. This is 3 only. Because continuous, so it will be again 3. 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. It will be 14, 15, 16. And then it will be 17, 18. Again because of this curve, this will again be 18. This is 19. Again this curve, so the whole thing will be 19, 20, 21. So total number of surfaces will be 21. So answer to this question is 21. Thank you. So today let's solve question number 11 of UC 2021 paper. This question says that there are apples and orange in a basket that can carry a maximum of 50 fruits. Some fruits are rotten and some are good. The number of rotten apples is twice the number of good apples. The number of good oranges is twice the number of rotten oranges. The number of oranges is thrice the number of apples. If there are more than 40 fruits in the basket, what is the total number of apples and oranges? So see, uh, you may find the question difficult, but I always say whenever the question is given, that means there is some solution. So what we have to do? We have to just proceed with the information given here and definitely we'll get away. Don't get uh, nervous in the start only ki how will I do, do this question. First just put down, jot down all the information which you have and then think of a way that whether that information can be used in some way. Like at first I will just write down all the information which are given here and then we'll see ki how if we are able to solve it or not. So let's see. So let's uh, first uh, compile all the information given. It's given that this is a there is a basket full of fruits. Fruits are apple and oranges, but not all apple and oranges are good. There are some good apples which we have written here as AG. So there are some rotten apples which are AR, and there are good oranges which we have written here as OG, and there are some rotten oranges OR. So there, this fruit basket has apples and oranges. Apples are of two types, rotten and good. Oranges are also of two types, uh, good and uh, rotten. Now again, one more information is given. That the total fruit is less than 50. Because this that means the total number of fruits are less than 50. So if we add up all the apples and all the oranges, it is less than 50. And it is more than 40. It contains more than, that information is also given. So we know that number of fruits are more than 40, but less than 50. Now we have to find out based on this. Let's jot down some more information given here. It's given that number of rotten apples is twice the number of good apples. So AR will be equal to 2AG. Let's term it equation 1. Number of good oranges is twice the number of rotten oranges. So OG is equal to 2OR. And then number of oranges is thrice the number of apples. So number of oranges is equal to OG plus OR. Combining both the oranges. 
and number of apples are equal to ag plus ar right so og plus or is equal to 3a into ar plus ag because given oranges are thrice the number of apples now total apple and oranges how what it will be og plus or that is good app, good oranges and rotten oranges plus ar plus ag that is rotten apples and good apples now from the equation 3 we we knew that this uh, ag og plus or that means total number of oranges is equal to thrice the total number of apples so it, this you can replace this we can replace this og plus or is equal to 3 ar plus ag from equation through 3 and this will copy as it is so 3 ar plus ag plus ar plus ag that is equal to total number of apple and oranges so total number of apple and total number of fruits will be 3 into ar plus ag plus ar plus ag so 4 into ar plus ag so that will if we now if we uh, ar plus ag about the relation between ar and ag we know that from equation on it's given in the question that number of this rotten apples is equal to twice number of good apples so in, we can substitute this ar as 2 ag so 4 into 2 ag plus ag so this is these are the total number of fruits total number of apple and oranges so this is 4 into 3 into ag so that is equal to 12 ag right now 12 ag means what the total number of fruits is equal to 12 times apple the number of good apples are there so well, we also know that total number of fruits are 12 times into we, we got to know from the earlier calculation that total number of fruits is equal to 12 times the number of good apples right but that means that total number of fruits is a multiple of 12 it's given 12 ag so that means it is a multiple of 12 so total number of fruits is a multiple of 12 we also know that it is great the total fruits are greater than 40 but less than 50 so ultimately what we are looking for we are looking for a number a multiple of 12 which is greater than 40 plus less than 50 so it question becomes easier what is that multiple of 12 which is greater than 40 but less than 50 there is only one multiple that is 48 so the total so the total number of apple and oranges are 48 and that will be the answer here hi so let's solve question number 12 of uc 2021 question paper this question is given here that four views of a convex solid are shown how many surfaces does the solid have so four views are given here top view bottom view and front view and side view i will show you with a model also but before that try to solve like this only because why in the question paper you will have to use your imagination that model will not be given here right so we will first will try to solve here only then move to model to show that it is correct see these are the four triangles it is easily these are the four surfaces these triangles are surfaces right so these are the four surfaces from each of these triangle four more uh, one more triangle is associated so for this and this four again so it will be eight from here it can see this also this blue triangle is there from there this triangle is there so this is this triangle is same as this triangle so top on top four then again this four eight which is this one and from base again one more triangle is connected can you see which is this part this triangle so four on the top four uh, this part which is connected to the base of blue and uh, this uh, red triangles four that is eight and then for those four which are connected from the bottom that is 12 and one bottom so total 13 should be the answer so let's check if it is correct this is the uh, model which i have tried to create these are the four uh, views which were given in the diagram in the question now i will calculate the uh, will ca count the number of surfaces 1 2 3 4 on the top then on the side 5 6 6 and 7 then on the right side it is 8 and 9 then again on the other side below 1 and 2 10 and 11 then in between that is 12 so total and now i want at at the bottom also so 30 so total number of surfaces will be how much 13 so total number of surfaces are 13 so the question answer to this question will be 13 thank you hi everyone so this is one of the question of uc paper 2021 question number 
Uh, I'm sure you must have read the question, so I'm not reading, repeating the question. Here the question is about Musa, who is selling dosas, and his daughter. And the question asked is, when will Lisa celebrate her 60th birthday? Based on the information given in the question and in this board, you have to find out that. First, let's, list, let's jot down all the information which is given in the question and this board. Then after we will solve this question. See, Musa started in 1989, which is given here. We can see that from the board. That time his age was six times that of Lisa's. He started selling dosas for rupees two each. He increased his price by rupees one every year. Present price of dosa is 32 rupees. This is the information given in this question. In the question, all the information is here in like this. Now let's start try to solve it. And also one more thing is given that Musa's present age is 60. So it's now they have also said that price increases by rupees one every year. And now the price, the present price is 32. So the total price is rupees 30. That means 30 years have passed because each year they are increasing 1 rupee. So 30 years have passed and Musa's present is 60. So that means they, he started this join when he was 30 years old. 60 minus 30 that is 30 years. That time his age was 6 times that of Lisa's. So that 30 is equal to 6 into Lisa's age. That means Lisa was 5 year old that time. And the, in the board it is given that that year was 1989. So Lisa's age that year, when that Lisa was 5 year old in 1989, that means Lisa was 5 year old in 1989, that means Lisa was born in 1984. So the question now is asked when she will turn 60. So she, she will celebrate her 60th birthday in 984, 1984 plus 60 that is 2044. So this is the answer for this question. So you will see this was not a difficult question once you put down all the points which were given in the question paper you could easily do this question only thing what you have to do you have to bring in all the information together and you have to see how you will use this i hope you all understood this question thank you hi everyone so let's solve this question number 14 in this three circles of radius 10 centimeter were drawn these are the three circles inside an equilateral triangle and uh, we had to find out the area of this red color region that in square centimeter up to two decimal places. So let's do this. First what we will do, we will join all the centers. When we join all the centers, we will get an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle of side 10, 20 centimeter. This 10, radius of this circle and this 10. That is 10 plus 10, 20. 10 plus 10, 20. 10 plus 10, 20. So this is the equilateral triangle. And we will get an equilateral angle of side 20 cm and we will just shade the sectors of the circle. This is the sector, this part, we will shade it so that it becomes convenient for us. So from this equilateral triangle, if we remove the sectors, that is green shaded area, we will find out the desired part, this is the question, which the part which is asked in the question. So area of equilateral triangle will be what? The formula for a, a, a equilateral triangle is pi, uh, three, root 3 by 4 side square. So, root 3 by 4 into 20 square, that will be root 3 by 4 into 400 because the side is 20. That is equal to 100 root 3 centimeter square. Now, area of the sector, this is the sector and the formula for that is theta upon 360 into pi r square. So, theta is here 60 degree because it is an equilateral triangle. So, 60 upon 360 into 22 upon 7 into 10 square. So, we will get 1100 upon 21 centimeter square. So, this is the area of the sector. Now, from this triangle, if we remove this green part, that is the sector, we will get the red part, isn't it? So, uh, from we had uh, we had uh, taken out all the both the things in the earlier slides. 100 root 3 minus 3 into 1100 upon 21. These are three three sectors are there. So, we multiplied by 3. 100, the, that will be equal to, if we solve, we will get the value 173.2 minus 157.14. So, we will get the value as 16.06 cm square. So, area of this red region will be 16.06 cm square. That is the answer up to two decimal point. I hope you all understood. Thank you. This question, it is said a smaller square of 5 cm is placed inside a bigger square like this. Such that all four corners of the smaller square are touching the sides of the bigger square. So, this uh, corners are touching the big uh, square. The smallest distance between the corners of the two squares, that means this is the smaller distance, smallest distance, this is the 3 cm. Now the question asked here is, what is the area of the bigger square in cent square centimeter that falls outside the smaller one? That means you have to find out the area of this blue part. Now if you see this is 3 cm, this is 5 cm and this because this is a square, 
this is a 90 degree so by pythagoras theorem we can find out this side it will be under root 25 square minus 3 square so 25 minus 9 that is under root 16 that is 4 centimeter so if this is 4 centimeter this will also be 4 centimeter so this is 3 this is 4 this is 3 this is 4 so this that means the uh, side of the bigger square will be 4 plus 3 7 centimeter so area of bigger square will be 49 square meter centimeter area of smaller square is 5 into 5 because it's already given 25 square centimeter so area of the bigger square that falls outside the smaller one will be 49 minus 25 that is 24 square centimeter Sunder will be the answer of this angle which is in turn it in turn is inscribed in a circle and p is the center of all three shapes and pq is equal to qr is equal to 5 units now question is what is the perimeter of this rhomb so if we see pq plus qr is the radius of this bigger circle because it is said this is the center so the radius of the circle should be equal to pr is equal to 5 plus 5 that is 10 now this is also a radius bp if we call it b so pb is also a radius and that should be equal to 10 because we already established the radius of this circle is 10 so pb should also be 10 now if we see if we talk about this rectangle pb is a diagonal aq is also in a diagonal so both should be equal so aq should be equal to pb and aq is the side of a rhombus and aq is equal to 10 because it is a uh, equal to the radius of this circle so the perimeter of this rhombus will be 4 into 10 that is 40 units